Listening five. Baywatch, Vigilantes de la Playa. Laura and I are walking at night when she suddenly looks up to the dark sky. Look, she says. There's something in the sky, an object. Yes, my friend. They're called stars. No, it's not a star. It's a bright light. Maybe extraterrestrials are arriving from space. They're coming, Lynch. They're coming. Laura, you need to stop smoking again. No, look at the sky. Anyway, I stop and look up at the stars in the sky. There's nothing there. No aliens. No little green men. No nothing. Oh, shut up! All you do is talk about things, words, nouns, phrases. All stupid. Look again. I look again and feel embarrassed. Two people from our area walk past and look at us as we talk about aliens. They already think we're strange because Laura is painting the windows of her apartment pink. Anyway, the two people from our area go, and I look at the sky again. Then, suddenly, I see something that appears to be a dark hole in the sky, and in its centre. There's a light. Look, they're coming. The aliens are coming. They're arriving. Shouts Laura. It's true. An enormous spaceship flies over the park and the block of apartments opposite. I can't believe it, but it appears to be true. I question it for another two minutes, but it's irrelevant. The spaceship flies over us, fifty meters over our head. And a door opens. Small green men appear around one meter high. One of them speaks. Friend, do you know the way to? He looks down at a paper in his hand. Roswell, we've arranged to meet our friend there for a party. Laura says. Um, yes, it's in America, California. California, America. Isn't that the place where they made Vigilantes de la Playa? Vigilantes de la Playa? You mean Baywatch? Probably. The only Earth TV we've got on our planet is from Mexico. Oh, but you know they've stopped making it now. Oh no! I love that program. Anyway, we've got to go. See you. Suddenly, the sky is dark. The hole disappears, and there's no spaceship, only stars and darkness. I look at Laura. I'm going to make an appointment to see the doctor, immediately. Actually, let's arrange to meet your mum tomorrow, so she can tell us the name of that Greek psychiatrist she knows. I think we're going crazy. Laura doesn't respond. She continues to look at the sky and says one word: Baywatch.